Hello and welcome to my new video. This is a special request by a subscriber to set up a virtual machine on Word Linux. To what I know, there are two ways of achieving this. One is using VirtualBox by Oracle. Some people have issues with their licenses because it's not fully open source. But anyways, this is the easiest way to set up a virtual machine. It offers enough features that, in my opinion, are more than enough for an average user. The other way is using KVM or Kernel Virtual Machine. It requires Word Manager and all that. And it's a bit advanced. Of course, it offers uh, very powerful features compared to VirtualBox. But the thing is, only machine I set up using KVM was about two years ago for Windows 10 to run accounting software. So KVM is not really on top of my head. Again, it's not difficult. You need to install packages, enable services, and that's it. For the purpose of this video, I'll be showing VirtualBox, which in my opinion is the easiest way and serves a big majority of users. First thing first, we will look up the packages using query command. We'll do R capital for looking into the repositories. And then there's a the package name I remember. So the relevant packages here are VirtualBox, which is the main package. And then we need to add some guest add-ons, which are like kind of optional thing, but it offers more features and uh, enhances the performance of virtual machine. So I advise installing them both at the same time. That should be it. Oops. I missed something. XBPS. Mm -hmm. One more typo. Virtual box, damn it. Once the packages are installed, the process will be very simple. We enable the services and then we restart the system or at least log out and log in again. I prefer, in my opinion, the cleanest way is to restart the machine because it will load all the kernel modules, whatever required, to run this successfully. Great, we are done. So now we need to enable the service. For that, we will look up the right one in etc services folder. And I'm looking for this. So we'll do a symbolic link to enable the service. Okay, and then link into the running services directory. I think, yeah, service here. That's it. And now we will enable the service. SV is for service. U is for up. We can do this as well. And three box service. Great. So now we are done. And for for the purpose of sanity, we will just please reboot the machine. I will stop the video here and reboot, and I'll be back. Now my PC has been restarted, and I think we are ready to go. I'll just have a look at the service. It is down but enabled, right? So it will automatically start once we open the virtual box. From here, it should be very straightforward. All we need to do is to click on new, answer a few basic questions. I'll just do it very quickly. I don't want to create a hard disk. Yeah, go on. That's it. And then from here, I'll go to settings. And then from storage maybe, Sorry, from, yeah, from the boot order, I will just select hard disk or whatever, or maybe CD-ROM, optical. And then from storage, I will select the CD icon. And from here, I can select 
the relevant path. I don't have any bootable uh, USB at the moment, but that's pretty much it. We'll open it and from here we will, sorry, from here we'll give a, we'll go to the USB or whatever the device is and that's it. So I hope this video helps and if there's something else I can help with, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.